Don't ask me to smile. <laughs> it's okay. Hi, I'm Clifford Rames, and welcome to Poetry Passages. So we're here in Burlington, Vermont, and I have the great pleasure and privilege to be here with Mr. Greg Delante, poet and author of over 20 poetry collections, including his selected poems and his latest, No More Time. So, Greg, how are you? Thanks, Thanks for joining thank us you. on Poetry Passages. Lovely, very good, thank you. <laughs> so, tell us just a little bit about yourself. How did you uh, end up in Vermont? Um, around the time my first book came out, um, I won an award called the Alan Dowling Poetry Fellowship, which was for poets who were from outside of the United States. Uh, and it was to come to. to you had to come to the States to get the award, it was $20,000 uh, uh, and so I got the award, it was Christopher Ricks judged it and who I still remain in very close contact with and um, we, um, I didn't know anybody in the States and another well-known critic in Ireland, Terence Brown said, would you like to be poet in residence in the University of Vermont visiting poet? And he just made a phone call in front of me to turn it back and that was it. And I'm still here. And that was about 30 years ago? That right? was 30, 1986. Wow, wow. So you have a new book out called yeah. No More Time. And, you know, in this age of COVID and climate change, I mean, here it is the middle of October in Vermont, and I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt, so climate change is happening. Um, do you find that more and more people are turning to poetry? In this time of crises, and why would you think that is? I don't know. Yeah. I, I couldn't tell you. Um, uh, there is a sense that, uh, at least, um, that perhaps that is true. I don't mm. know. This book was being written way before. Uh, I mean, I, I let me just say that, uh, as I said to you earlier on, I, I put my poems where my mouth is, and, mm. and that I. I've always been um, politically active and in the last 20 years it's been mainly about the environment um, mm -hmm. and uh, how we were destroying it and uh, and how we, we taught ourselves separate from it and so forth and I've been active in that and as I said the house is on solar no, no gas no oil at all no right. wood and uh, I cycle everywhere so uh, no no car all year round and, and so forth so but so I I only write about what um, what what uh, I am uh, sort of uh, consumed by mm -hmm. sort of and it could be poems about the elegy of, of a friend or who died or, 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 or my son right. ship of birth in this case I opened up a place for myself at that point that I needed to write with no more mm -hmm. time I had been wanting to write for a long time and the poems themselves um, I, I have uh, very strong feelings about the about the Europe, the Western world, and modernization. Mm -hmm. uh, our foundation in the Western world is the Christian foundation, basically, mm -hmm. um, from you know for two thousand years, base uh, and governments and so forth. And I, I picked a, a form that Dante, um, the, the Terza Rima, three the line. Rima, yeah. Um, uh, this particular type of rhyming um, and with a couplet at the end it, I followed afterwards that they're called a diaspora sonnet a which diaspora I'm part sonnet. of a diaspora anyway yeah. myself but we're all a part of a diaspora including the yeah. plants and creatures but so I wanted to put in the plants and creatures into western civilization yeah. as partners now, the word equals seems silly, but not as inferior and outside, and not mm. human, not the hierarchy of the human being on top. Right. And so I use that, what, what, what put the animals in. It's a kind of a sure. heaven, hell, and purgatory, right. a divine comedy. Well, on that, um, of, of it, that. Yeah. And, and then uh, their love poems as well. I saw that. Because yeah. at the end. Yeah, yeah. And I was thinking about this, uh, you know, former poet laureate Billy Collins, yeah, yeah. who you know, um, said that poetry is the history of the human heart but it could also be said that poetry is a history of the human heart's relationship with nature oh, and, absolutely. I, and I think you know once we reach a point where certain creatures like fireflies or elephants or the jellyfish tree are extinct um, people will turn to poetry to learn 
what the dry textbooks can't tell him, and that is the heart's relationship with nature. Your book, No Time, No More Time, is the perfect text for this time. But it's um, also a heaven. It's not just about the dark side of what human beings are, which, which human beings are just another species that are proliferating, as any species will do if they get a chance. You right. know what I mean? But but uh, uh, there's a heaven, hell, and purgatory in it. Yes. You know, so it's there's, not. There's some people get afraid, afraid of this book. They won't read it because they're afraid to be depressed. And I think that. <laughs> no. But I, I was glad to see in some of the reviews, uh, um, good in very good places, um, say that the language kind of and the humor and also the affirmation of life is in is in is in the poems in mm -hmm. the book. But and also that this book. Billy is right, but I would even go larger and say uh, poetry is the history of the psychic, of humankind and, and the heart, which is included in the psychic. Mm -hmm. um, and it is the witnessing as a human being uh, with other human beings mm -hmm. and other creatures and plants in the earth. Um, and that for me is that, as you see at the start, I call myself, I ask to be said that we are animals. Uh, this is. I am. I. You should consider this as an animal write, writing poems, and I am an animal, and we all are. But we have a bit. It's a bit like the way people think about poetry and prose. What is the difference? People, well, they can't actually answer that question. What's the difference between human beings and animals? You can't really answer that question <laughs> either, can you? Yeah. You know, in any That's sort right. of. So, uh, all that was interesting to me, and thus the the kind of uh, the Dante and also the Greek mythology. Right. Um, which is also the other piece. A lot of mythology in this book, uh, which we'll bit, talk yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you have a poem to read, right? Sure. Um, we have a little critter called Honeybee, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's a sonnet in Terzarima. With a couplet at the end, kind of a low a couplet theme. at the end, yeah. So we have Honeybee by Greg it, Delante. It is time, anoint thy tongue with honey. Local thyme honey from Spiele. A gift from the Greek poet Caligaris. Amusedly musing. Honey to give your words wing lift. Back in the day it was taken by the Delphic bee. Wake up. Get busy. Make a move. A shift. Apply propolis prompto. Impossible not to be a drama queen nowadays. Without Apis, the abbess will take over. Unbloom many a garden, field and wood. The honeybees are more waning than waxing, warns Apiology. Queens, drones, nurses, guards, whole communities protect them, the amber labour force of ecology. Already this ward comb is a fossilised apology. Fantastic. And that was Honey Bee by Greg Delante. Um, so we want to do one more? Sure. Yeah, we got the butterfly. Yeah, the monarch butterfly. Yeah, sure. And there is mythology, in this Greek mythology, you know, the house of um, um, uh, uh, well, Mount Olympus and so forth. Mount Olympus. Yeah, so I, know, I, know, I know the details, but anyway, I'll read so it. So, Monarch Butterfly by Greg Delante. A monarch has landed on the rainbow deck chair, presumably taking a breeder from her odyssey of thousands of miles. Dear soul, rest there. Soak up the sun. We know that your journey has its own cyclops, sirens, shielia, that you will need Elias' assistance. Silly to think mid maps apply solely to us human crew. The blueprint of the house of Adrius is imprinted in our molecules. We seem to ignore the house is coming down around us, that nature will enforce its own inhuman laws. The heated gods rally on Mount Olympus. You fold the V of your wings, hold them in a pause, 
in prayer then open and close them in applause wow and the ambulance of the planet just went by the siren yeah exactly that was the, <laughs> that, that was the uh, that, that was um the gods from mount olympus the gods of mount olympus have spoken well thank you so much Greg. thank you man it's very nice to wonderful meet you thanks reading for, thank thanks you for joining much. us here i hope you all enjoyed that thank you thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again real soon right here on poetry passages and we'll have more greg delante i hope thank you thank you bye okay good, good. i talked too much didn't i <laughs>